Welcome everyone to Medieval Dynasty. Today we're jumping into this game to check it out. Uh, I know it's recently got a co-op update, which has been pretty cool. Uh, I haven't personally played it myself. I know this was on Game Pass for a while uh, on PC, but I just never really got around to it. Uh, though there is, or since there has been an update uh, to the game, I was able to receive a key for it through Keymailer. So that's where we're jumping into it. Uh, I'm playing through Steam right now, and we're going to just kind of get some first impressions on what the game is and uh, how much, uh, I don't know, story or exploration the game actually has. So we're just going to start game and see what it is. I've seen a lot of screenshots. I've seen some uh, gameplay like streams of this. So it always had an I interest used to have for me. a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Medieval Dynasty. Okay. So it seems like there is a little bit of a story. Uh, you know, one game I've, I've been wanting to go back to for a while now is the a Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game has gotten so many DLC and so many DLCs and updates since I last played. New quest: starting a new life. Talk to Castellian. Ornica, Rostovia, and Denica. Okay. Go. All right. So we got a quick save. Punch block. All right, let's make our way to the first quest here. Just follow the road. Discovered animal spot rabbits. So it is a full on survival. We've got a health meter, food meter. It looks like water meter. The city or the world looks pretty so far. Do we have a map? Yes, we do. All right. We'll take this road down. Knowledge, we got quests. So that's the one thing is, like I'm not really a big survival uh, fan person, but if a game has quests or like a little bit of guidance, then I can, I can adapt to that. If you at least get me started and then give me a storyline, that is where you really draw me in. So we'll see how, uh, how much the story is. I think in this game you can like start your whole uh, village and like have people working for you and there's a lot of customize, uh, customization that you can do. Those eyes, I didn't think I would see them again. One blue as the sky and the other black as a lump of coal. You're alright, you look like you've seen a ghost. So you aren't the one good. For a second there, I thought I, I lost it. But your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must be mistaking me with someone. I'm new in these parts. Just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Rasimir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Lorden's nephew? What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever really meet. We, he wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will wait. What do you mean by did? I know of her. Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost my both my parents in the war. <laughs> Damn it, this world. I guess 
it can be as cruel as as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, boy. Nobody would have loved their loved ones at such a. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Okay, they've died. I've I could so I could live, and I plan to make the best of this life I can, in order to honor their sacrifice. Very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud to hearing that. You mentioned my uncle Lord, and I actually came here looking for him. Resimir, I hate to bear bad news. Your uncle Lord is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. But that's it. I'm the only one left. Don't you say, hey, look at me. This valley is filled with warm-hearted people, so gladly aid with you with whatever you need, and I'm one of them. So what should I do now? You are free to go wherever you like, start a new life. I hereby grant you permission of the Castellian to build a farm on any of the un unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that, I can take land of free charge. Well, you have to pay taxes to the king annually, but apart from that, you are free to do so as you please, as long as you don't break the law, of course, of course or at least if you don't get caught doing so. That sounds amazing. The valley... Looks beautiful as well, and I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. Glad to hear that. Listen. Okay. Whew. Collecting resources. Ah, that's, yeah. So, I wasn't expecting to have to read that much, <laughs> but that's okay. So, what do we got here? We got to pick up 10 sticks and 2 stones. Oh, looks like there's also a bunch of quests nearby. So there's no, uh, it seems like there's no voice acting for the game. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's, that's all right. I totally get there's certain areas where you kind of <clears throat> have to make the cut-in points. Now, the one thing I, I, I'm really most looking forward to, like, for the games that can't afford voice acting or can't, like, it's just not within their budget is things like that, like, using AI to kind of bring voice acting to games. Um, of course, always, always, if somebody can be, uh, like, if it's within the budget or, like, it should be a part of the budget, in my opinion, because uh, I, I just personally prefer a lot of games with voice acting, but worst case, it's not available, whatever the, like, if it ends up not being available or there's just too much on the planner, for not having it, that I think that is where using like a uh, an AI tool would be beneficial for the companies that can afford it. Now, if you're talking about EA or like you're talking about some big companies that definitely have the mo the money to do so, then completely different story for that. All right, let's see. So we got those so far. Chapter. Let's go find some stones. Now I don't know the inside here. Oh, we. Oh, there's a third person. Okay. Can I see my? Oh, that's how I look. All right. Interesting. I look like the rest of them. I look like everybody else. I'm sure there will be some stones down here, right? Surely. Fix. Knowledge. All right. There's a lot. Oh, man. We'll give that some time before we start jumping into that stuff. Fix. Grab more of these. Right, we gotta find the stones. There's a bunch of ducks in there. Yeah, the world looks beautiful so far. Discovered a fishing spot. Here's some rock. Do I need to like punch it? Requires a pickaxe. Maybe we can build one. The clothing. Skills journal, technology, management. Oh, that's the whole management tree.
maybe if we go back to the, there might be like a quest of somebody being like, hey, if you like to get started, here's a a pickaxe for you. I also need you to go to collect this stuff for me. I don't know. Let's go find out. Kind of just spitballing. What's that? Okay, so we are back. Uh, the recording broke there for a second, but I, I picked up two little quests here uh, to collect some items for our, our friend Edwin, and I'm currently looking for some logs. Now, I'm finding sticks everywhere, but I have not been successful in finding logs. Be nice if there was a way to like kind of like highlight it. And it looks like, I mean, like for a tree, right? You got to knock that down. Unless if there's, what, is there like a smaller tree that I can craft a, a pickaxe with? Let's see, hand. Yeah, in order to make a pickaxe, you need one log and four stones. I've only found one stone so far. This is a rabbit. Oh, here's a stone. Okay. Tree cutting. To cut down a tree, you will have to have an axe. This tool can be bought or crafted in the creation menu. Put the axe in one of the quick slots at the inventory and take it out. We don't have any logs. <coughs> I still need a... <coughs> Sorry, Chad. I need to find a uh, a log to be able to make it, though. I got a handcraft. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can make a stone axe. All right, there we go. Boom. We've got one. All right, let's go to this. Okay, yeah, we can assign it to one. Boom. Now we can get some some logs do I still have to chop it oh okay huh so once you knock it down then you still gotta do another chop to bring it down completely okay all right how many logs do we have now uh oh Am I over encumbered? I am. I am definitely over encumbered. By about 10. <laughs> Alright, how many logs do we have here? Let's drop. Let's try to drop four. There we go. Perfect amount. So, let's run over here. And first, let's give this guy the items that he needs. Here's some of the materials he wanted. I'll get the rest soon. Wait, what? Oh, I'm missing. Are you kidding? I'm missing one log. Hydration is crucial. All right, our hydration is running a little bit low. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just over here trying to hit the tree. All right, we need one more log. And then I can give that to this guy. Okay. Now we got three. And for my new beginnings thing, it says I need 32 straws. Cut five trees, get 32 straws. Here's the rest. Yeah, no problem. Dynasty reputation. Okay. Not too bad there. 
Not too bad. All right, let's cut down some more trees. I should get some hydration. Let my energy refill for a second here. Okay, so still need to cut down more tree here. Oh, hopefully. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we just cut down the tree right by the, uh, the house there. All right. Oh, and I'm over encumbered again, of course. Very good. Try to drop some items here. Drop two of those. Yeah, we'll drop one more. Okay, so we cut down all the trees that I need or that I needed to. Handcrafting. Oh, we have enough to make the stone pickaxe. I'm not sure where this straw comes from. You're carrying too much. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we also have, I'll craft the wooden hammer too. There we go. That used that. Straw. That is still our objective. Six. We don't get it from like any of this other stuff, do we? I'm going to put the stonic pickaxe on number two and we'll put this on number three. Technology. Okay, we learned how to do that. Survival skill point once to spend. Okay. Uh five percent more experience gained from survival activities. I'll take that. Increase level. Okay. Very quiet in the menus. I can hear myself. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's drink some water here too. Also pick up oh okay, the reed is straw. A little confusing that it says reed and not straw, but that's okay. Pick up this more. Oh, drinking water again. We need 32 of these. Just gonna keep looking around me until we have more. What oh, is that? Okay, 24. Uh, maybe we, it's better to look at the ground. Oh, that's water. Oh, is it this stuff? Oh, it's like this thing. I see. I thought I was picking up like this stuff. The hot dog looking thing. Th that actually does look like a hot dog. <laughs> Build your first house. Ah, the days before having a mortgage. Seems like a nice spot, I guess. Uh, select build mode. Build. Oh. I click that. Okay. Oh. Uh, do we do it like this? Building? Houses. Small, simple, small house. Oh, there we go. I can't, uh, like, raise this, can I? Right there. Reach Armitage Development Level. Alright, so we need... More logs. What? Four more? Go collect some logs again. Yeah, it's a, it is a cozy little game. Especially if, you, if you're if you really into survival style. Um, 
having the ability to kind of like build your own location and, and stuff and like own relationships and village and then having that ability to also uh having the ability to also play this co-op now oh had to give it one more good smack oh no go back Oh, no. All right. I was going to try to carry this all the way over there. Wait, where is my house again? We're almost there. Almost. I know I can drop it, but I can actually use it. Come on. Just carry it. Sleep, you'll need to build a house or craft a campfire. <laughs> Well, we all, almost have our house built. Food. Eating is essential. When food parameter is depleted, we'll need to lose health. Or you will start to lose health. Yeah, I'm almost there. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, now we got to do the frame. Okay, let him rest for a second. Oh, there's trees that are way closer. Oh, take that back out. It is kind of cool that you have to like break it again to be able to get the logs. Carrying too much. Of course I am. But my house is right there, so. I always understand that there's like a certain point for especially for for carrying weight and stuff um like durability and all that uh but I also think that you know having a being able to carry more most of the time does not break that much immersion and at the end of the day it's like it's a game um i know S starfield suffered from that a ton like you'd always be over encumbered almost every time and uh, you get to the point where you always have to just start dropping like any weapon that's not over common even if it's better you just gotta drop it um because it just doesn't make sense to, to pick everything up because you're just always going to be over encumbered. I think a lot of games, like, it's okay to have that, but it should be, like, uh, a little bit higher, personally. Like, it would be nice if starting out we had, like, 150 weight to be able to carry. Now, of course, immersion-wise, that wouldn't be realistic, nor would it be, like, I mean, right now we're at 30. 35 is our maximum, but I can only carry a total of, like, four logs so we got to pick up the four go put them uh to the house then go back get some more then go back it's okay doing that like two or three times but after that it just becomes like okay you gotta be really dedicated to do that continue doing it all right need more resources running out of daylight here But that's just that's just my opinion oh i got oh my god the tree landed on me oh no all right we need to eat the apple eat these delicious we gotta hurry up here we're losing daylight On the alternative side, this is a, of course, 
this is a uh, survival game, so it does make sense to have that. But I just think a lot of times having like prioritizing player experience and making it a little bit more fun rather than tedious can be a better route to go. But like I said, I mean, I think the other good thing too is like having the option or having the ability for like how, I guess you can, maybe there is like a customize your, at, at, before we started, there was a customize your game option. So I wonder if that lets you like, oh, start with more weight or, oh, here's how fast your stuff will deplete, all that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't really take a look, so I'm not 100% sure. Do we just walk in the door? Yeah, we do. Can't sleep in here yet. Also, how am I supposed to keep building this? I need more logs. Simple house is 65%. I'm going I'm going until we have to sleep. Don't worry, we'll get this. Hopefully. All we'll need now is like a bunch of logs. Okay. One log, one log. Oh, no, it broke. Are you kidding me? Okay, I need more logs. I can't see anything. It's getting dark out here. Okay. Craft one of these. I think we have a meter. Oh, that's the wooden one. Wait, where'd it go? Did I finish crafting it? Oh, made eight. Oh, no. Uh, stone. Okay, we gotta find. Oh, no. We gotta find stone in this. What is the three? Can I equip this? Oh, okay. It's a different keybind. That's why. How much would it be to make a fire? Roads. Damn, you can make a whole road and everything too. All right, here's one stone, two stones. Stone axe. Oh. Here we go. This might be enough. Okay. Let's go find out. At least we can make fires on the fly. Oh, there's another log. Oh, there's four of them there. All right, this might be enough to finish this out, hopefully. Let's find out. And then we can have our first night of sleep in our house. Our very first house. There it is! Chapters are series of missions that appear at the beginning of the game. Introduce your game's mechanics, also assist you in initial stages of the new settlement construction. Completed challenges allow you to unlock the game uh, development stage, which determine the maximum limit of buildings you can construct. Oh, it automatically makes a bed too. All right, so we got a double bed and a, be a regular bed. All right, let's go to sleep then. Chapter two, a survivalist. And I eat all those. Sleep until the next day. Ah. 
What a nice day. Wow, this is actually pretty cozy. We got the cauldron. Soups, porridges. With an apple. Oh man, we could have made that. Okay. Alright. Ah. First day out in the open. Chapter 2. Set a trap, wooden spear, stone knife, hunt a wild animal, and survive for an entire season. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Alright, chat. Well, we're going to call this uh, the first episode right here. So if you guys enjoy this, leave a like on it. Uh, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see some more. If this does well enough, then we will do a second episode. Maybe down the line, do some co-op too if my buddy ends up getting it. Uh, but... For right now, we'll just uh, we'll leave it here and, and see how this does. So for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.